Hi, and uh, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to answer uh, this question. Describe courses or projects where you used Khan Academy either in or before college. Uh, so I guess, um, you know, the main thing I've really used uh, Khan Academy to, uh, to, uh, to do or to help with has been to get through courses. Now, it's like a lot of the information I've learned uh, through Khan Academy and uh, I guess a lot of the, uh, uh, the way that I've learned stuff through Khan Academy has enabled me to uh, do uh, some projects. Uh, I wouldn't say that I've directly, you know, I guess it may be a missed opportunity, but I wouldn't say that I've directly applied uh, stuff that I've been learning on Khan Academy to uh, projects. However, I do think what I've learned on Khan, Khan Academy has enabled me to uh, to uh, uh, do well on on certain projects. As far as courses, uh, you know, the uh, the big courses that I've used Khan Academy for were uh, Calc One and Calc Two. Uh, my physics class, uh, Physics One and Two, Physics One and Two. Uh, differential equations, differential equations, um, and uh, really the last um, uh, course that I'm going to mention was kind of the largest course that I think I used Khan Academy for. I'm going to write it in really intense color, uh, and that was Chemistry 1. And one thing I just want to kind of uh, mention, you know, I, I don't know exactly, you know, what your situation is uh, where you're watching uh, this video. If you, you know, you might be planning on uh, going to college or something. Uh, but one thing that I kind of encountered in my chemistry class, and, you know, I think that the chem it was a good class. I really enjoyed uh, chemistry class a lot. Uh, one of the things that uh, can happen uh in uh, in college classes, I guess, is that you can have essentially weed out classes. And uh, this chemistry class that uh, I took my my first year back in school was essentially being used to shrink the size of the school of pharmacy at uh, at Temple. So you know it's uh, it was intentionally you know it's it's kind of you know I, I think it's very interesting. <laughs> it's a very interesting. I guess, educational tactic where, uh, you know, the intention was to provide instruction that was intentionally inadequate to do well in the class. And, you know, you essentially needed to tutor yourself if you wanted to, if you wanted to achieve a passing grade. Um, so, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, definitely used Khan Academy to get through Calc 1 and 2. It made Calc 1 and 2 uh, just, uh, you know, not easy, but, you know, I think it made it much more enjoyable. It freed up a lot of time for me to think about the material. Same thing with physics and differential equations. It kind of made it, you know, my, I, it helped me connect with the material much more. But uh, using Khan Academy for chemistry was absolutely essential. Um, it helped me enjoy the class at all. I think if I hadn't had, you know, hadn't, you know, been able to take advantage of, you know, the chemistry playlist on the Khan Academy, I don't think I would have enjoyed chemistry at all. I don't think I would have passed chemistry at all either. Um, but, uh, I, um, I guess, uh, that was how, how I, uh, you know, how I used, uh, used Khan Academy. And these were the primary courses that I, that I use Khan Academy for, but, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I think is important to put out is that the foundation that Khan Academy laid in really these three courses, chemistry, you know, as well, and, and I was in electrical engineering, and chemistry is important, it's important to understand, but, you know, calculus, physics, and differential equations are incredibly central to understand and I think that the foundation that I laid and, you know, Frank, and that Khan Academy really, you know, was uh, incredibly sen essential to, uh, you know, uh, helping me get through, uh, really propelled me through the rest of my college career with, you know, signals, signal, uh, uh, signal processing course and uh, circuits one and two circuits, uh, AC and DC circuits, AC and DC uh, circuits. Uh, also, uh, digital communication, DigiCom. 
Uh, so, you know, one of the things I would say is even though, you know, it would be great in the future and, you know, I'll bet probably in the future Khan Academy will have a signal processing course and a circuits course and a digital communications course. But, you know, one of the things that I would say that I, it is very important to take advantage of when you're using the Khan Academy is realizing that if you do, if, if you're able to use Khan Academy or frankly, if you're able to use anything to really understand these uh, concepts and and chemistry also depending on what your uh, what your your field is that you're going into. If you're able to uh, understand these concepts at a very deep level, if you're able to invest a lot of time just thinking about you know what you know what an integral means or what force actually is or you know uh, or you know how what does it mean that you know uh, you have to sum together a uh, uh, a, uh, a homogeneous uh, solution with a particular solution for a differential equation. Just spending some time, even just like, you know, generally thinking about that stuff can really propel you through the other courses that you're going to see. Uh, so anyway, that is um, essentially how I used Khan Academy. And, you know, I'd say like describing courses or projects where you use Khan Academy either in or before college, you know, like in digital communication, there are a lot of projects, and signals, and, and uh, AC and DC circuits, there are a ton of uh, projects. Even though Khan Academy doesn't have a signals or circuits or Digicom playlist, you know, Khan Academy's fingerprints are all over the coursework and the projects that I've done for, for these classes. So, anyway, I guess uh, that's my answer. Thanks for watching.